A new proposal for a ceasefire and hostage deal for Gaza is under discussion, but mediators are not optimistic. We have an offer that's on the table now to Hamas that is very serious and um, should be accepted. Um, Hamas could move forward with this immediately and get a ceasefire that would benefit people throughout Gaza as well as, of course, get the hostages home. Secretary of State Blinken said the ball is now in Hamas's court, but the terror group has a different take, saying the proposal they received does not meet their demands. We have not yet received any American proposal through the mediators, but we did receive a proposal submitted by the occupation government. Hamas is studying this proposal, and we will deliver our response to the mediators after our leadership discusses its details. The Lebanese Al Akhbar daily newspaper reported on Wednesday that the Hamas delegation has left Cairo and is not expected to return. Following over a day of internal discussions, Hamas decided to present an updated version of its counterproposal that it presented in mid March with four main demands. The first, an explicit announcement on a final ceasefire in Gaza. Second, beginning a comprehensive withdrawal of Israeli forces from the entire Gaza Strip initiating the safe and unconditional return of all displaced Gazans to their home and a hostage-prisoner exchange deal that will take place in stages. Meanwhile, the IDF announced that 468 aid trucks entered Gaza on Tuesday, the highest number since the start of the war in October. But tensions between leaders in Washington and Jerusalem are growing, amid rising criticism from the White House, particularly regarding strikes on aid workers in Gaza. All eyes are on Hamas for their response to the proposed deal. And until then, they will squeeze out of it all the psychological warfare they can.